In this episode, I have a stormy stay in travel, I have a stormy cruise, and a stunning evening cruise too through the narrows. I also reach the end of the line. Not rain, Welsh mountain mist, followed by thunder and gales. Teasels. I always like teasels. They're kind of nice for a bit of decoration indoors. Fruits of the wild. Oh, I do like a good russet apple. Mm. And this must be the best way to view the Pont Cysuchte. Possibly even more serene than narrow boating. Gdansk. Another great name for a boat. Oh! Look at these shiny new solar panels. Not connected yet, but more on that in a future episode. After a couple of weeks in the basin, it's time to complete the journey along to Fangotten. And off we go. There's some tight manoeuvring to be done leaving Trevor Basin. under the rather low Scotch Hall Bridge. And would you believe it, there's an oncoming boat, who very kindly moves across to let me through. Um, I prefer Gdansk. Anglo-Welsh holiday hire are obviously full of busy, and it's a 90 degree turn to head towards Llangollen. Looks like someone is getting blackberry pie tonight. Blimey, you couldn't miss her on a dark night, could you? And you wouldn't miss her on a dark night either. By now, I'm beginning to find the wind and the stronger water flow a bit of a battle. Some holiday boaters are struggling to moor in this rather difficult crosswind. 
and I'm struggling to keep reverie on the straight and narrow, or not so straight and narrow. Blimey, the women around here do like their bright colours, don't they? It is really blowing a hooli. I'm not sure about the significance of the arc on the canal. Maybe it's just a bit of artistic graffiti. The canal is cut into the hillside, providing open views over the Vale of Llangollen. Well, that was quite a challenging cruise, actually. It was really difficult against that uh, against that wind and that current um yeah it just made it really really difficult i'm really ready for a cup of tea now really after mooring beside a rather noisy road opposite sun trevor the following day was a delight I've had a text message saying it's clear ahead, so off I go. Well, it's a beautiful evening and we're about a mile and a half from Llangollen now and just about to enter the first of the Narrows. The Narrows are, there are two sections of the canal that are extremely narrow, only wide enough for one boat to pass. Now the first is about 300 metres long I believe and um, and there is a passing place in there. It's always advisable, certainly if you've got crew, to send someone ahead um, and then they can phone to tell you if there are any oncoming boats. If you're a solo boater, like myself, then um, it's probably advisable to wait for another boat to come past you, a boat preferably with crew who can then walk on ahead and uh, let you know if there are any oncoming boats. Passing place. Room enough for one boat only though. The 
water flow coming through this bend is absolutely incredible. No matter how many revs I can give it, I'm not going to go any faster than I am, which is probably about one mile an hour at the minute. I know the water flow doesn't exactly look much, but believe me, it was strong here and probably quite shallow, which made it even more difficult. Oh, good joke. End of speed limit sign on a canal. Oh, silly me. It's for the adjacent road. One of the things that has greatly amused me about this canal is seeing teenagers on holiday with their parents. Now, usually they can be found sitting in the well deck looking absolutely bored stupid. Often they're on their phones or um, electronic devices playing games, but um, with a sporadic Wi-Fi system you can often see them like this. It's really quite funny and I do suggest that if you do have teenagers then um, perhaps going on a holiday like this is not really for them. There seem to be profusion of tree trunks left in the canal around here. As I was busy talking to the camera I didn't see this monster. Good job I was in the middle. Oh, and another one. And another. This part of the canal from Trevor to Horseshoe Falls at Llanstilo was never really intended for navigation, it was merely to feed water from the River Dee into the main line of the Ellesmere Canal. This accounts for why this section is really quite shallow and narrow. It really is a beautiful evening for a cruise. Sandthin lift bridge is always left open. There's the text telling me it's all clear ahead, so entering the second narrows now. The canal opens out as we approach Llanglossen, with visitor moorings and plug-in electric points on the left. Mooring in Llanglossen from this point does cost £6 per night, with a maximum stay of two nights. And there's the text telling me it's all clear for the third set of narrows.
The town of Fangotten sits in the valley below the canal. And the first signs of tourism, although closed for the evening. And this is the end of the line for boats. Straight ahead goes to Horseshoe Falls, but there is no turning for boats, so I pull into the Llangotten Basin for the night. There are four or five mooring spaces left. There are water points and electric hookups for all the boats in the basin and this is included in the £6 per night fee. Now this is the first time I've ever been in a marina or is it possibly just a basin? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, it was quite a peaceful night. But the thing is, it's 7.45 in the morning and there's already quite an exodus of boats going on. But what a gorgeous place to have a marina. This is the end of the Flangotland. The town itself sits alongside the River Dee. It's a haven for tourism and was extremely busy when I visited and actually very little chance of social distancing. And for the perfect tranquility of the canals without the thrum of a diesel engine, this is surely the way to travel. A friend recently informed me a similar horse-drawn boat trip on the way has decided to stop running after 30 years, partly due to animal rights activists complaining of cruelty to horses. If I can pull a narrowboat on my own, which I can, I'm damn sure a horse wouldn't bat its beautiful long eyelashes. The world just gets crazier. That evening there was a new influx of boats into Llangotten Basin. Ah oh, well, another one gets the orange marker. Where to next I wonder? Mm -hmm. 